Hello. <sighs> it's it's oh boy boy is it time. Boy is it time. <laughs> boy is it big. My ego for thinking that I can beat this in a timely manner. Welcome to Spyro Three. I could be all of reunited in like six hours. <laughs> well, good news. Um, this memory card's full. Wonderful. Uh, I'm going to stream. I'm just gonna play right now, anyway. And um. I'll figure that out later. That is a future mark problem. Wow. Uh, hi, Jordan and Nation first. I also want to shout out uh, Nayan. I hope I'm saying that right for following um, in between streams. Over here on Le Twitch. I'll remind you again of our incentives in the description. I want to say that, uh, if you're on YouTube anyway, I think our incentives and rules are all on the uh well the rules are definitely on my whatchamacallit yeah on the about page but uh I don't know if the incentives are there but anyway if we get 50 uh twitch followers which we're actually holy shit wait 50 twitch followers we're actually very close to that and I just realized this entire time I wasn't paying attention uh we're not away from doing a full playthrough on the just part of new beginning so if you really want to see that sooner than later, definitely uh, follow. But I think the 100 follower incentives, which you're really going to want to tune in for, because if we hit 100, then we are going to be 100% in Crash 4 on stream, and it's going to be Twitch exclusive. It's not going up on YouTube. We managed to capture so the that's going to be an interesting one. Every last one. If you subscribe, though. On the YouTube, you we get to 4,000, which we're a little under 600 away. Then I'll do a big Q&A video through. where you can ask me anything regarding the channel, favorite, least favorite games and movies and shit. Anything you want to know about me that you probably don't know or I haven't really talked about publicly. And then uh, by 5,000, we're going to play Sonic for five hours, so that's going to be fun. Where are the eggs? The holes came out on the Wonderful. other side of the dragon world. We found some of the eggs, but they were too heavy to carry Hopefully down. the game isn't too loud. Um, please, if someone can confirm and let me know Spider. that things You'll sound okay. Nobody else I can also can try and confirm for myself as yeah, well. On, You'll be able to go. hear uh, Miharu for a minute, but hold on. Let me mute the desktop audio and go into my stream. Find the eggs and bring them back, Spyro. You're our only chance. You got it. Yeah, it sounds pretty okay. Uh, what I will do is lower this down just a little bit. That should be alright. Because over time, at some point, I'm probably going to get too loud for this mic zone good or whatever, and I'm going to end up accidentally freaking... Somehow making it sound really quiet. I don't know why. I, I have this mic is pretty old. I'd have to get a new one. I'm looking into condenser mics because for the longest time we've been using uh, USB mics, which is like baby's first fucking professional microphone. <laughs> so I would really like to uh, finally trade up. Yeah, you have a freaking road. I would like something like that. I know it's. A little more dough, but I'm willing to save up for it. Or, hopefully I can get a Patreon or something going at some point eventually. Donations, too, also. Definitely help. But I don't have any of that set up yet, that's the problem. So about the PlayStation Showcase next week? Yes. Hopefully we see some good stuff. The fact that it's an hour long is already awesome, because state of plays are too damn short. Sure. The state of plays are half the length of a Nintendo Direct. You know what's funny? Um, 
There's Bianca. You know what's funny? Uh, despite what Spyro two and three coming out by the time the analog sticks were invented, actually, I think Spyro one was ready by the time the analog sticks were yes invented. They just weren't common yet, but they never tried to map the camera to uh the right analog stick. They've always left it L two and R two. There wasn't like a, oh, use L1 and, or L2 and R2, or use the right stick. Like, they never really didn't do that. I don't know if it's too much, which doesn't make sense because Reignited can do it. I don't know. What are you frantically clicking around doing? Oh, I'm doing pictures. Doing pictures? Yeah. What does that mean? I said I'm doing pic crews. Oh. What is that? Pic crew. You know, the thing when, that I always make mousies from. Oh. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Still need to. Uh, it is still, I think, very odd to me that there is even like I even have to say, oh, I need to get used to uh, Spyro's PS1 movement again because that shouldn't ever be the case ever. The fact that that's a thing makes me afraid for my like far off future self when I'm like 58 and I'm praying to God I can still play video games. <laughs> It's been a, a while since I've played uh, Reignited, but uh, every time I come back to the original games, I'm like, Oh, this turning's a little weird. It never used to be like that. <laughs> Welcome to the Tiki Lodge! Yay! I will see you soon. I will see you soon. <laughs> Whether you like it or not. What? What? Nothing. It's not a cult. We are not a cult, I swear. The first thing the first thing he asks Barry when he comes up is what have you heard? What do you mean? <laughs> what about about what? N nothing. Welcome. Okay. Welcome. What have you heard? Huh? <laughs> welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I said welcome. Didn't hear that. <laughs> okay. Anyway. We come back later when Sporks has enough something. Come back after you defeat the boss. Okay. I shall do that. How do you think we should go about- I you're fucking good at this game. <laughs> I was gonna say, how do you think we should go about this? Uh, since this is... I never should have said 117%, I should have just said. <laughs> Let's play Spyro 3. No. You're committed now. I am. Not really looking forward to it. But, uh... Yeah, so that said, how should we go about this? Should I, like... Try and just... Complete everything I can as I'm going along or should I just kind of like baseline it and then like do what you want to first and then and then go back okay that's what I did to get the best hunter I know man I saw something. Hunter, I understand. Hunter, you better not give tutorials in the uh, next oh, game. I... What if you did? Yeah. Because he would do that shit. Oh. This is a super. Hi, Zoe. Why isn't your voice high pitched anymore? It's not supposed to be. 
Like it was three or so times. <laughs> Yeah, was it just the three times? I can't even remember. Uh, twice yeah, in uh, so. yeah, twice in Colossus, and then during Ripto's fight. It's so weird. So apparently they kind of just switched the effect off, just not for those ones, I guess. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, oh, I thought I should. No, I no, I know that for Crash. I'm talking about for Spyro though. Yeah, no, obviously Crash came out before analog sticks were ever a thing. But Spyro was only two years later. I th think that it was, that it was out by the time. But it wasn't common to find controllers like that. It wasn't a common thing for every PlayStation One owner to have a DualShock. Hello, money bags. Let's free Sheila. And then watch the funny cutscene. Sheila. I wish uh, Reunited did this. Uh, those <laughs> little cutscene previews that are like. Yeah, that have titles. Yeah, and they're like embossed or look like stained glass almost. After all, <laughs> I'm just doing my job. <laughs> But they wanted to unify it. I reckon you'd be one of them dragons then. Yeah, name's Spyro. Never thought I'd see one. You dragons used to rule this entire world, you know. Then all of a sudden you left. <sighs> dragons used to live here? Didn't you know? They say it was over a thousand years Look at ago. her big green eyes. Just left? Yeah, and the weird thing is, after they left, all the magic in the world just sort of went with them. I mean, they say this world used to have magic coming out the wazoo. Flying ships, singing forests, wishing stones, you name it. Hopefully the fan is not distracting her there. I, I, Erin claims she can't hear it, but I, I'm always afraid because I have it pointed right at me. I can hear it. You can't? Okay, well then, shit. That means the stream can definitely hear it. Come visit any time you like. Fuck. I didn't do anything different from any other time that I've asked you. It's pointed directly well, at me. I mean... I think I can hear it. I, I moved yeah, it away. I mean, it's low. I can't, like, it's not too loud. I can hear it, though. I was gonna say, because at the same time, the cooler's on in the hallway. But that should be kind of muffled because I got my door closed, so. That's just gonna, that's gonna make my room really hot, so I need to have the fan on. Yeah. Hiya, Sheila. It's the mountain goats. Hello. Hello, sirs. Oh my god, I forgot how good she feels to control, though. Huh. I don't know why they made her feel as weird as they did. Like, she's quicker. She moves faster. Do, 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 do. This is her chilled theme. Look at this unsuspecting crack that isn't a crack, but it looks like one. <laughs> Ruby. Oh, so I actually had a question regarding the YouTube streams versus the Twitch streams. Mm-hmm. I wonder if you've noticed this or if you've customized the colors or anything. So, um, the colors of, all, of everyone's name on yeah. in my streams on YouTube are all blue. But yeah. since, since my background and everything else is blue, it really clashes and you can't see the names very well. I've been meaning to change that, but I don't know if I can versus I'm looking right here at the Twitch chat, not through Streamlabs, but on my actual stream. And we've got different colors there for the names. So that's how you can um, tell if for some reason the thumbnail didn't give it away. Uh, 
where we're streaming. And yeah, the only thing I saw that I could customize on Streamlabs was the um like the messages, the posts, the comments and mm -hmm. stuff. Well, for me, what I noticed is that the colors change. Even on YouTube? Yeah. Like, it's different every time. That's that's what I thought. Because it seemed like it was different every time. I'll have to keep an eye on that, because the last... The last stream I did, which was the Road to Rumble stream on YouTube... Um... Everyone's name was Blue. And I don't know if I customized it to be that way, or if, uh, or what, but it's, I want to change it. <laughs> I was thinking of something know, everyone, that's... Everyone name, everyone's name seems to be red whenever I, whenever I stream, and it always, like, blends into the background. Hmm. If I'm able to fix that, I'll probably change the YouTube names to, uh, yellow so they stick out more. Alright, let's go and stomp these guys' houses. Let's kick these guys out of their homes for fun. I like killing bots because you can kill fish for fun. That's a you good can reason. wake up the duck. <laughs> that should be a uh, a Twitter or YouTube channel. I pet the dog. Wake can up the you... duck. Yeah. Can you wake up the duck? Boing, wait, boing. Oh. Oh, it's precarious. Whoa. Hello, sir. It's Bobby the Mountain Goat. You can have this egg I found in my house. Hello, Bobby. Anthony, hello. Welcome. Non. <laughs> my favorite dragon, Non the Dragon. Non. If you ever. Man. Nan. Oh, it'd be non if it had two A's, right? Uh, probably. I've always pronounced it Nan. I was thinking like non bread, but I think that's two A's. If I remember it. It's going good. I'm tired. I should not have made this an 117% run. <laughs> or stream series. I don't want to say run as if I'm speedrunning, because that's definitely not what's happening here. Let's see, I'm not done with this place. What am I missing? Oh. Hello. There we go. Did I talk to everyone? Yes. Okay, cool. I'm only missing ten gems. The bliss. And by the place, I mean here. Sunrise Spring. Which is all right there. I forgot to go that way. And by the place, I mean here. I mean the place we're in right now. Oh, that's not all of them. Okay, where am I missing? The place. This chocolate is so good. <laughs> 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 I'm 
glad you love him. <laughs> it's his voice. It was so funny. He's, he's he sounded good, like Scratcher. He's a good boy. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about that for a minute. We, uh, I finally, I showed Miharu Death Note. And we watched all of it. I showed her the whole thing. And I really love it. I'm very, very glad. Because for the longest time, she didn't really have an interest. So I was like, we're doing it. Because it's got good characters and good moments. I was like, I was, t I was talking to Hari last night, and I was like, I finally understand Anime Club. What? <laughs> After all these years, I finally understand. Because uh, back in back in high school, um, we had an Anime Club, and we didn't really do much. We it, we just like we just hung out in a room at lunch, <laughs> and just like played anime on TV. And I didn't really know half of the anime that they were playing. Because it was stuff that was, like, popular at the time. And, um... Yeah. That was, like... That, that would have been popular at the time since it was... It was around there. It came out in 2006. And, uh... Wait, what year were we in Anime Club? You had been a uh, freshman? Uh... Yeah, so I... Wait... wait. Unless you were in, unless that, it was earlier in the year, in which case you were. Well, I mean, it was probably still, like, it was probably still popular the year after, so, like, I, but, I mean, I'm pretty sure I was in Anime Club, like, when I was, uh, I don't want to say I was a freshman, but, like, was it that early? I don't remember it being that early, like, I thought I was, like, junior or something, but, um, that would have been like... 08, 09. 08, 09, yeah. 2008, 2009 school year, which I was... a little tiny child. I was in... Depending on the year, it was my last year for junior high, and I was going into high school. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, basically, yeah, Death Note was really popular, uh, when I was in high school. <laughs> and, uh, we, we had an anime club, and, uh, we had, we had Misa Misa Mondays, I remember that. <laughs> I remember that very clearly. What would that entail? I don't fucking know. Would you have to dress up like Misa? I have no idea. That, like, the the head of the anime club, one of my friends, Larissa, she like she literally dressed like Misa anyway. <laughs> it's like she dressed like that. That was her style. That's awesome. <laughs> Everyone had to write down names in their notebooks with their Shinigami eyes. Yeah, Fable would- oh my god, I, what was it that Hari told me? She was just like, yeah, someone said they would write my name down in the notebook, and I was like, oh my god, really? It's like, that is the- that is the stupidest, funniest thing I've ever heard. It's also sad. Only- I know. Only in the because, sense that they dislike you that much, they'd be like, yeah, if the dental was real, I'd fucking write your name down like in a heartbeat. I'd fucking write your name down because they hate you, like- It's, it's like, Jesus. Like, we're dumb really high think. school kids, like, it's fucking- I was like, that is so stupid and so sad. It's like, it's so sad of them that they have to like, because those are the people who go like, don't fuck with me. I'm the power of God. Yeah, I'm yeah. Me. I'm my style. <laughs> <laughs> so wow, how autistically obscene. Exactly. That's. that's, <laughs> that's why. So like, I mean, well, it's we were laughing at that. We were laughing at that. How could you be so stupid? But. Autistically obscene. <laughs> this is a really autistic thing to say. That's like saying if I had super strength, I would crush your head in with my bare and hands. I've and I've said I've said a lot of weird things like that, uh, mostly uh, pertaining to video games. I have said many 
many autistic things pertaining to video games. Oh, I want to hear <laughs> some. What have you said? I don't remember. I just remember saying. I remember saying stuff, but I don't remember exactly Hi, what. Spyro. You were like, I, 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 I have a hidden power I've never told you about. You said to a friend once. They said, "What do you I'm mean?" I'm pretty sure. And you were like, "I could be fire like Spyro." Yeah. I have to get in the right mindset to do it though. I, I said the floor is lava. No, um, <laughs> but. Well, everyone did oh. that, but, uh, I've said, I've said, um, I'll put it in my inventory, I remember saying that. Oh, nice. I've said that, I said that when I was, like, 12. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, why did I say that? <laughs> did, did that just mean, like, your backpack or something, or? No, your I don't even know what literally? I was talking about. Oh. You weren't trying to, you, your mom didn't call you over and be like, hey, go put this, go put your, your, your binder, your school binder away. And you're like, oh, thanks. I forgot. I'll put it in my inventory. I, no, I didn't say it like that. I, I, I forgot what I was talking about. Okay. Thank you for rescuing my. Sanders. I remember when I was in first grade, and my friends and I, most of which, mind you, were girls, we would uh, mimic uh, Tekken fights at recess. We like, choreographed silly little Tekken fights like we were the characters. Even though I would orchestrate them because they didn't really know Tekken very well, and I was like, I'm Hi, going Spyro. to be Yoshimitsu, and you are... Uh, oh, yeah. Williams. Oh, yeah. Cool yeah, we story. did that all the time. No, we, we, did, <laughs> we, did, like, we did, like, Pokemon battles, you know? Like, oh, we, nice. did that. we did that all the time. Yeah. yeah. I love that. And then be like, I win because I'm cool. Be like, stupid kids. No, stuff. we had... A, no, we even... I remember... I explicitly remember we had to do the, uh, the victory animations as well. Of yeah. our characters, if we would win. Like, I don't know what the hell determined in my mind who won or lost, but... I, I probably had to say, like, okay, I'll fall down and, like, stay down for a minute because I, I won the battle or whatever. <laughs> and I would do, like, a stupid... I won! Walk. I don't know, oh. it was so... It was so... Oh my god, it's so cringe. Well, yeah, but, like, we're... <laughs> but we're cringe, kids. yeah. Kids are cringe. Well, kids today are just stupid, sorry. I hate to break that to you, if you're a kid. Also, kids I don't, I don't mean, mean, I don't mean any disrespect. My yeah, kids but, are always mean. but, yeah, kids today are stupid. When we were kids, because we're '90s kids, we, we were either autistic or well, were, or <laughs> we were autistic, <laughs> <laughs> or uh, just cringe, plain old, good old cringe. So many kids are. Autistic. <laughs> well, that's, a, that's a thing that that's a thing that carries over. That is a that, that is a thing that carries over to a lot of people. Which isn't a bad thing. No. Usually but when you see it, means, and you don't have autism, it actually means you're very smart. But well, if, a lot of the time. <laughs> but if someone else who doesn't have autism sees sees it, they go, "What a peculiar fellow!" And then they never want to make eye contact with you ever again. Sure. Like, well, back <laughs> then it was like, see, back then it was seen as a weird thing, and it's probably like it's seen as like. Well, you the know, part that you were special, Ed or something, probably. Yeah. Like it's, it, it's it's very weird because it. It just means, like, your brain works differently, and, uh, yeah. like, that's, it, that's not, and it, a lot of the time it does mean you're really smart or really creative in ways that, uh, uh, like, a lot of people are not. And... Look at L. Exactly! <laughs> exactly! I, every time, no, every time someone talks about, like, you know, oh, like, uh, characters who, like, they had canon with autism or something like that, I was like, why do you never put L on your, like, on your list of characters like this. Have you seen him? Have you seen the way he acts? The way he talks? It's like... It, I, dude, I am sitting in my chair the exact same way. I don't understand how people can't think that. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> you have to start holding things the way he does now. Next time, uh... I, I do hold I, things I like that, that sometimes. Right. Next time somebody calls you or I call you, you have to uh, hold your phone like that. Betwixt your, finger, your thumb and your forefinger. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, now if you could do a backhand 
uh, slap, slappy to pop shove it, 50-50 BS, uh, cry stare, without blinking, with your two thumbs tied behind your asshole, then I will be impressed. Two thumbs tied behind your asshole? <laughs> Backwards. Backwards. In under three minutes, then I'll be impressed, and then I'll give you the other living creature I have I'm holding captive. All right. Why? <laughs> that's an Hunter saying that. That's Hunter. You fucking prick. <laughs> the Hunter's a secret villain. You know how you know how those posts have been going around lately, where it's like the antagonist, the true antagonist is Hunter every time. The true antagonist is Hunter. The villain, the real villain. The real villain. He's the real villain. <laughs> He's the real villain. Um. Does quoting themes anyway. like non fucking stop also count towards autism? Yeah, yeah, it's part of it. No, it like a lot of it is part of it, and I'm not saying that like you know, quote unquote normal. Um, like people, <laughs> like other people don't do that. I'm sure a lot of people do that, but. But that's like the basis it's... of like your meta humor or whatever. Yeah, it's like, you know, diff different different senses of humor, like different, um, di I don't know, just different, different ways in which one acts and has, and has interest in, it's a, uh, it's a spectrum. <laughs> Cause I've never been tested or diagnosed, you, you have though, right? Yes, I have. What was that process like? Um, it's just, it was it was basically just they uh, ask you questions or get your reaction to things or like yeah no it was just like kind of like filling out a form of like questions and then um I mean I went to see a like like a psychologist uh. I think and. He basically diagnosed me with Asperger's, so... Okay. Yeah, because I've, I've never, uh... Never been! <laughs> never had that lovely visit. So who knows what the hell is going on in my head. I used to blue skidoo everywhere when I was a young, tiny child of, like, four. At the age of four, I used to blue skidoo everywhere, in public, as well. And I look back on that and I go, Why did I do that shit? Like, I'm a total shut-in now, like, if you really- If you really met me raw in person and I don't know you and I don't recognize your face immediately, even if you're like an online friend, I'm probably gonna like, n not dismiss you at all. I don't wanna sound like, like mean or anything, but I'm probably gonna be like, who, who are you? I mean, I'm not gonna really like, be s I, I might not appear, and I apologize if this ever hap does happen in the future. Because I did meet, um, his name is Jake, I haven't heard from him in a while, but uh, his Twitter tag was, Hey, can you stop? And I met him at E3, and we were both kind of nervous, because you, know, you always you meet an online friend, you're a little nervous at first. But sure. like, you know, so having that experience, though, um, was interesting. But at the same time, like, I'm just saying this to say, like, yeah, I'm not... I'm not as, like, I guess open as I used to be when I was a kid. And I literally didn't give a fuck because I had, there was absolutely nothing to hold me down. Yeah. I didn't care, I guess, if I was judged. But I then, I think, in retrospect, I was judged too much later. And that just made me go, yeah, fuck everyone. Fuck the world. I'm going to, like, not, you know. <laughs> yeah. It, no, it gets like that. I, I sort of was like more. that, too. I mean, I was always kind of shy. But the thing is that I believe i was i don't know i don't uh, for me well for me it was kind of opposite because i was i've always like i've always been shy and then like i'm a little more open now um so like it and then for for hari it was uh it's a lot like you <laughs> mm -hmm. um where she um She's, uh, yeah, she doesn't, um, really, she, she's not, as, she, she, it's not like she was ever completely open, <laughs> but, um, I, I'm, 
a, a lot a lot less so now. Yeah. So I just got real out of nowhere for anyone who watches this back. But uh I mean it's interesting. Well, it's just It's just funny to <laughs> talk about how we all have like similar experiences yeah I feel we don't talk about that enough I wasn't trying to purposefully segue us into this it just happened it's <laughs> fine oh hello oh! sometimes I just think it's weird when people like come in here this out of context and he's like what are you talking about it's like well not like <laughs> the reason we're talking about it is because like the, I feel like we you know, we, we can talk about it. Because we're not just talking about, like, other... We're, like, other... We're, we're not saying what other people are. We're, like, just saying our own experiences. Yeah. What are the weird things I do in public? Apparently, I used to tell random people... Random women that they were beautiful. And apparently, I made a... A, a clerk woman cry... Because, uh, I had tears of, like, appreciation because I told her she was beautiful. I was a small child, and I was like, I don't remember that at all. I'm sorry, lady. If I'm sorry, as, lady. If I came off as weird. No, not, not, not like an I didn't mean it sense. Like, I'm retroactively being a fucking asshole. But it's like, no, I'm sorry that I'm, I was very awkward and odd. And... <laughs> See, because then I, I then I look back on myself and I'm like, I need to apologize to like probably a lot of different people for how I just was as a kid. But who knows? I maybe. Apologize. I, like, see, I had to say maybe because I was never I was never tested or diagnosed. Like, maybe it was an an autism thing. I'm not saying like, oh, apologize because autism's bad and I I, I regret right. being it. No, it's like. No, it's like. I didn't know if I. I didn't know at the time. I don't know. I still don't know yeah. if that's what I am or whatever. It's like because if other people don't know, you could come off as like very like you know. Yeah. Or like it, and you you come sometimes you could like come off as very like odd in in social situations where you don't know how to act. So yeah. Hmm. And people aren't gonna understand that. So like sometimes you have to. You feel like you have to apologize, not because of, you know, being autistic, but because of like, sorry, I'm like, I don't you did read social across... cues very well. Yeah, yeah. But it happened more so for me when I was a kid. I don't really, I can't for life of me recall anything of that exact same nature from when I was like a teen. Yeah. I think at that point is where I started to realize, like, yeah. I'm weird, I guess, whatever. But I was like, I'm gonna stop being weird. In the sense that I'm, I'm gonna... Yeah, like, I'm just not gonna fucking say anything to anyone anymore. Somehow I made friends still after that. Somehow I still met, uh... Weston and Chase and them. And Jerry. Yeah. Ooh. And, like, sometimes you just, uh... Things, things change. Like, when I was, when I was a kid, I, like, I actually had quite a few friends. Like, it, you know, it, it seems, it seems odd, but, like, I, you know, I had quite a few friends, and, uh... It doesn't it, seem odd at all. What are you talking about? No, I meant, like, it's, no, it's looking at, looking at who I am now, and, like, basically looking at the fact that I I don't really like I, I, I don't really like people. Like, <laughs> I'm not a very social person. Um, like, and when you when you see it, like, you know, or, or when you hear everyone else's stories, like, they're like, oh, when I was a kid, I never had any friends, blah, 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 because I was shy and stuff. Like, seeing as I was a very shy person, you would think I didn't have like a lot of friends but i actually had a like pretty good group of friends and as i got older i just wanted to keep that down to a minimum because it's just <laughs> not that I, I, well also because you know I, I grew apart from a lot of those friends i don't really talk to them or see them anymore um but yeah now i just have like a few friends that I 
I talk to and look out, on, on a regular basis. I've warned you already. This place is kind of like I like it when things are quiet. Pussycat. Thanks. I mean, but that I makes sense. Look after ourselves. It's like as I get older, I like things quiet. <laughs> I don't know, I guess it's a part of me that wants to do more with people, but I've always I've always had the small group back when you finish which like, school, no matter okay? what friends I'd be hanging out with at any given time throughout, I guess, like my school life. The friends I still have now, you know, Chase, Wes, Jerry, those are the only four around here I ever talk to anymore. Like, well, I say anymore. Those are pretty much, that, the four of us are pretty much the group. And it's been that way for the last, like, 10, 11, 12 years. So, like, I don't hang out with anyone else. I mean, I hang out with you, but, of course, you know, we live in two different cities. So, until we're in a financial whatever position where we can change that, this is kind of how it has to be right now. But, uh, you know... Like, I always want to be invited out to stuff, but I guess because of how I've built myself up to be, I guess no one really, like, would want to take the time. That's, this sounds really self-deprecating. I think we should stop. <laughs> well, well, okay, then say it in a way that doesn't sound... I don't know bad. how, like... I don't know. I Sometimes I feel like I guess I'm overlooked, but that's not really... I don't know how to change that. There is no real way to change that. I don't want to get... This is getting too real. We need to stop. <laughs> I think it, uh, I I think it's important to have conversations like that. I mean, yeah. It feels like it feels like how we usually start to get into some real stuff, but yeah, I don't know. We usually don't do that publicly. <laughs> I don't think anyone's listening. <laughs> Good. Like right now. <laughs> <laughs> Look, guys, I'm streaming on Twitch and YouTube. I, I get two Isn't viewers, maybe, per stream. <laughs> it's like, I don't think anyone's listening. Everyone left as soon as we said the word audience. <laughs> I was going to say, and um, Anthony504 was never seen again. <laughs> Unless you're lurking and my numbers are incorrect, in which case, thanks for lurking and listening to our weird rambling. Yeah, thank you. But if not, then, well, hopefully you're watching the VOD back, and if not, I, I don't blame you, man. We really <laughs> appreciate it. Oh yeah, this is gonna go up on YouTube, so it's whatever. Oh, but if I've got a giveaway going on that everyone wants it, no, I don't want to sound like an asshole. <laughs> oh, let me get five fucking ten DMs at once. No, it's whatever. No, you care. <laughs> How is it? How, that's see, and that's something that leads to a whole other ass topic that I just don't want a whole other can of worms I don't want to open. But it's like, how? Because I really, I, I, I hinted at it in my, uh, my January update video where I was like, yeah, I'm low on the totem pole. I made that little joke about you and CG and them, but I was like, yeah, how is it that I'm part of the simultaneously part of the group and not part of the group? And I say not part because again, no one really comes to me for stuff. No one really, you know. Well, now they are. But not. Now I'm the one who's getting left. <laughs> okay. Well, well, if it hey, you were invited to the Activision event. That's true. <laughs> um. No, there's a totem pole. You've what? You you have climbed up that totem pole so fucking fast that when it comes to Sparrow, you're like the only real prominent, I think, like female content creator. Next to what Crystal Blazer, but I don't really see much of yeah. her stuff. I'm sure. I mean, I'm sure she still does content. I'm just saying, like, yeah, I don't, I don't see her as like everywhere as you are. Maybe she is. I just had been looking in the wrong places or something. But, nah, uh, I think she's just as everywhere. Because whenever someone, and, and of course, you also have the uh, extra benefit of kind of marketing yourself and branding yourself as. I'm this, not only you're the Sparrow you know, girl, but you're like the Bianca girl, so now someone has something to tack on. So, say a new Sparrow game gets shown off, and Bianca, even for like maybe a second, is shown like in a little 
cutscene moment for the trailer or something, and she's in the background, and like oh, Sparta yeah. and like Hunter are talking in the foreground, then everyone's gonna tag you and go, Yo, did you see it? There's Bianca. Everyone's gonna, so you know, yeah. But you have that interaction. Like, no one's gonna do that to me. It's because I've, I've made myself known for like overanalyzing Bianca. No, but that's a good thing because that helps you stand out. That that's the impression that people now have on you. I mean, same thing in a more comedic, whatever sense, happened with Bubba. You know, people started sending yeah. you Bubba things like, "Oh, hey, look at him, right?" Since you know you made that video or whatever, or that was your initial reaction. Look. <laughs> but it's the same kind of you know principle, and that's fine. Look, you're horny for a thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, hey, in this day and age, that is more than fine. People will run with that and be like. Let's send her all the fan art. It's fine. She'll probably appreciate it. Just be a furry and then, you know. That is... Mark's a furry. <laughs> I don't want to hear any of that Mark's a furry shit. <laughs> That's hot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care who you are. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, what? No, sorry. Watch the VOD pack. Case in point right there. We pour our heart out. Sorry, I didn't catch that. What, what happened? No, that's fine, man. It's, just, it's not your fault. I'm, I'm just ragging on you. Uh, watch the VOD pack. <laughs> Are the hitbox? Oh no, they're not. Okay, I was gonna say are the hitboxes bullshit in this version because I couldn't remember. Uh, absolutely not. No. Let me just tighten the strings of my uh, mask a little tighter from the back of my head. Okay, and we're back in funny mode. <laughs> Get him in there. Okay. Back in funny man mode. Wee. Everyone loves a funny man. No one loves a depressed man. Not the depressed, we're just talking. Oh! You bet you almost had it. And I don't know why. It... No! Oh! As he was shrinking down! Oh, that was crazy. That was actually really close for comfort. It's too close for comfort. Close for Comfortia. But I'm not supposed to have any trouble with this. <laughs> I wish they kept those noises, they're so funny. I get it, they're named after clouds! Oh! So how come one of you isn't called Strife? If it was specifically you and me, would you ever do karaoke? No. No. Uh. That's well, I don't know. If we made it really fucking funny and cringe for everyone listening, if we were, well, I'm not even saying, you know what, I'm not even saying we should do it public. Uh, we should just, like, get a little karaoke machine, because that'd be really funny. I would do karaoke revolution party. I could do that. I could do high school musical sing it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we should make it real cringe. We'll, we'll, we'll do, uh, uh, Bring me to life, and we'll be like, We already do that. <laughs> then, I'll, then we'll do the chorus as Goofy. Wake me up and sing. <laughs> Save me, Master James. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you would do that. <laughs> That's my favorite one. Hey, 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 hey! You Really? Die. Jesus. Can one of these little figures, uh...
can one of these little figures' names be a uh, square shaped? Square shaped Clude. And then no one will get the reference. <laughs> I, I told you the fate of that guy, right? No. Oh, did I not tell you what, what do you he's doing? What do you mean by that? What, well, what he's doing now? What is he doing? You know, instead of fate, because it does sound a little too foreboding, I should have said the- The fate of that guy? It sounded like he died. No, 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 yeah, yeah. No, I should say the state, rather, of him. Uh, it's really odd, because he's gotten even more, like, conspiracy-esque, or whatever the word would be to describe a person who dabbles in conspiracies. Because he fucking, like- not only is he still trying to do square, make square-shaped cludes, but he's also like talking about like weird political conspiracy shit now, and it's like what? Oh, okay. It's very weird to go from square-shaped cludes to political conspiracies. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, hmm, this is a, uh, this is not ideal. Why couldn't you say funny and random and weird? This is random and weird, but it's not funny. <laughs> It's weird to it's hear me go. Like... Huh? <laughs> I, the, I, I was gonna, I was gonna say something. So I was, um, speaking of like political crap or whatever. Cool. Um, tread lightly. No, I know, I know. I, I wasn't really gonna say like anything yeah, 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 specific. I know. <laughs> um, like, oh. but speaking of that, in general, I, I was reading one of the one of the Death Note sequel chapters. Um. Well, let's just say they kind of... Th there was a very clear representation of a certain someone, and I was just like, Zork. that's that's weird. I don't know. <laughs> oh, like, that's kind of taken me out of it. <laughs> uh, hmm. Was it a recent president? Yeah. Okay. Is it the obvious one that anyone could possibly guess? Yeah. Okay, really? Yeah, and I was like... I don't hmm. know why they chose to do that specifically. It's very, <laughs> it's very odd, and it kind of like it, it kind of took me out of the experience. I was like, that's that's weird. I, <laughs> I wish they had just gone non-specific. I mean, they kind of did because they didn't mention any names, but like. Okay, relating, I guess, this parody to a Yu-Gi-Oh parody, is it Crump? I guess. <laughs> Well, are you a Yu-Gi-Oh parody? What are you talking about now? Yu-Gi-Oh. Well, I, mean, I, well, the, I know, I but got, okay, is this not the guy? Who? Well, I mean, like, what did you mean by Yu-Gi-Oh parody? I'm trying to relate it to. Uh... Well, because in in Yu-Gi-Oh, the it's the businessmen guys. Oh right, okay, yeah, okay, never, no, I know, okay, never mind, I know what you're talking about. And, okay, yeah, I was like, did I, am I naming the wrong character? No, no, I, no, I, totally, yeah, okay, never mind. I, I didn't know what you were going for. But oh, no, I didn't. Okay. I'm trying to say his name without saying his name, but obviously now it's right, fucking right, obvious. Right, right. <laughs> Wait, is that seriously who the parody is? I mean, I'll show you. Okay. Because I just thought of him with a death note, and it's simultaneously hilarious and fucking frightening. I mean... <laughs> I, I mean, like... When, when you say it like that, it's funny, but like... When, <laughs> it, it's, it, it was very it was very odd. Let's just say it was, it was very odd, kind of out of nowhere. It's like a Dutch angle with him holding the fucking notebook and Ryuk standing over him. <laughs> <laughs> sitting like behind him with his wings spread. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll have to show you. Him standing on the building with red hair, like in the <laughs> behind him. What <laughs> the fuck it's, is going on right now? It's a really funny image. It's Voldemort now. It's whatever, man. Oh, yeah, all the shit that I didn't get from the center. Yeah, maybe I should do that. I Okay. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Send me the picture on Cosme so I can check it out. I'm not going to show it on stream, but I'll, I'll laugh at it inevitably. How are you doing, Zark? Let's see. Is that everything? 
I'm missing four, because of course I am. Uh, the hell if I know where those are. But I didn't say it earlier, but I'm going to come back to Sunny Villa, because I... I'm missing one gem, and I don't know where it is. It's probably the skate park. I hate that. Yeah, it doesn't happen to me very commonly, but I don't. And the and know. the worst part is you don't have the you don't have the, the, the yeah, gem, the gem finder. Yeah, I'm gonna come back when I'm gonna come back to that when I do. <laughs> Fucking worst. Um. I'll probably just come back to this one too because I don't know what the fuck these four are. We've got a lot of game to cover, and I don't I don't have the time. I'm just gonna fucking leave. I'm gonna leave this place. I've been thinking about Boo Brothers for a while now, and we need to watch that again. Leave this place, I know. <laughs> I, I don't know why that's been coming to my head. Let's watch the... Yeah, let's watch the, the, the movie where Scrappy is the most fucking competent character ever. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've been meaning to ask you, too. Since we're um, delaying the trip a little bit so we can go see uh, the Haunted Mansion remake in theaters together, yeah. can we also that weekend fucking watch uh, Christmas in July? In person? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, because we haven't done that before. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to make them talk about chocolate and nothing else. <laughs> and chocolate. I have a suitcase here full of chocolate. That's what it is, anyway. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the Tiki Lodge. What have you heard? What? N nothing anyway. Have a nice day. <laughs> Bring back the spirit particle system, am I right? Who are the scream children? Who are the scream children? Who is the scream children? I hate them. <laughs> Please fucking kill them. No, don't do that. No, don't do that. Sounds I don't know who this Noah kid is, but I'm going to kick him. <laughs> kick children and chew gum. Dick kick him. Dick kick him. Dick kick him. <laughs> That's his new name. What are they screaming about? Have you ever tried to listen to and listen into any of their conversations? Yes, and the only thing, the literally the only thing that I can ever hear are they, are they them talk autistic? about. <laughs> what are they being? Okay. <laughs> like it's like it's an activity. <laughs> it's an activity. It's just an activity now. It's just a fun game. <laughs> they said I'm Yoshimitsu. I'm going to stab you. And then I swear they said me. something about Gengar. I I thought they said Gengar the other day. <laughs> They say, I'll be Gandalf, and I'll fall off the side of the cliff. <laughs> and they're up on the roof. <laughs> oh! Fucking pig. They called me the Pig. Okay, you fool. Delicious food. I'm gonna, um, send a delicious food. Damn it. Did they expect us to just drop down? They probably do. Yeah, I did kick him. <laughs> Live and well, that's good. Yeah, us too. Hello, game to you was very yeah. simple. This Take is a very this small level. Take this egg, we were going to sacrifice it in the name of the Tiki God, but then we didn't do it. Oh no. Oh no! Is that yeah, it's very animal? obvious. <laughs> it's very obvious. And I was like, um, okay. <laughs> the fact he's actually talking to him, I got that right. How did I yeah, get well, that right? Did. Oh my god, I didn't think they would stoop that low. What is this? It's very weird, like, <laughs> the story, the story of this manga in general is, like, is good, but it just, <laughs> that, that specific thing, was, I was just Spyro, like, huh? Just like, <laughs> I saw two egg what, when, when year does this come out? Well, I'm gonna assume this is before he, he came out, I, th I think this came out in 2020. 
Oh, fuck, really? Okay, hmm. well, that made it really odd, really but fast. But, what, but the, the actual story takes place, hold on, let me see. Hold on, da 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 They're trying to buy the notebook? Okay, that's weird. It's like, no, it's a, it's a really interesting story, I'm just saying this part was very weird, but like, <laughs> um. What was your gut reaction when you saw that, you are like, what? Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, I was re- Cause I- I was like scrolling through it last night, well, you know, like, her playing Persona 5, and I was like... So I'm talking to her, and I'm scrolling through it, and I'm like, I'm not saying anything, but I'm just like, what the fuck? Like... <laughs> it's funny. Skill points um... for breaking the wall. Okay, so... Okay, so the story takes place in 2019. Okay. The story takes place in 2019. When did this come out, though? 2020. 2020. Okay, so... Uh, yeah. It makes it all the weirder to have this... Okay. I I just, like... It It was re it was really weird because, like, in, in cases like this... um Because I know, I know they do this in, in a lot of things. It's not just this. Um, but... I... I do prefer that they leave it non-specific when yes. it comes to stuff like that. Make because a generic I'm just like, dude as the president. Yeah, I, I, I would rather just be generic because I'm just like, you know what, this is... It, because, like, hey, it just takes me out of it one. because I'm like, this is supposed to be a fictional thing. Like, please, don't do that. Like, <laughs> it, it was really weird to see the evolution in the, the first three Transformers movies when the, the original president, because uh, the first movie came out, I think, in 0, like, 07 or 06 or some shit, so, like, it was before Obama. Like, right. it was weird. I, he was based off of Bush, kind of, but you never saw his face. And they only talked about the president. They would always ref only refer, him as, refer to him as the president. Never, yeah. They would never say President Bush or whatever. Yeah. Um, the voice, because he has like one or two lines in the movie, like vaguely sounds like him. But again, you never really see his face, so it's never confirmed. And then in the second movie, they go... President Obama has confirmed that blah 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 blah, or President Obama has been uh, moved to a secure bunker, or wherever. And then in what? the third, and then in the third movie, and, oh shit! At the beginning of the the film, they show a uh, of course very fake image of uh, Sam or Shia LaBeouf meeting Obama. <laughs> wow. And it's like this got really weird. This like progression of presidents and referencing real ones or whatever is very odd. <laughs> Just make a fictional president. It worked well in just, Monster Resilience. It, it it worked well in RE4! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you couldn't tell that story if uh, it was a real president. But you're, that was 05? So what, Bush's daughter? <laughs> but it, it, does remind, it does remind me of what, <laughs> what um they talked about. The, 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 oh, oh please GFP. get him. The, the playthrough because like they did that playthrough in 2014 <laughs> so they were making jokes and I was like oh god that's funny but like it, it but it's still I again I just ra rather be generic yeah plus that is the best way to avoid controversial shit depending on whoever's sure. views of whoever yeah exactly hey hey Okay. But in some ways, it's funny. Well, sure, because it's like, okay, this very important figure doing some shit. Because it's so, because it's so, like, stupid when you look at it, it's just like, what? Like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but also, that just sounds like something that... Yeah, like a dumb fan would come up with, like, oh, what if so-and-so, President so-and-so, had the death note, or 
Yeah. What, what do you want to visit so and so? And then like to see it kind of like happen, even if it's supposed to be for like. <laughs> it is just like a weird fanfic. Do they play it straight too? That like, this is like supposed to be taken seriously? Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> so this makes it feel like, strange. It's it's it, it is very it's it's very odd. It's very <laughs> odd. Just, I still have the panel up on my fucking. I, I didn't click out of the image on Cosme, so I'm still looking at it. It's... God, is it weird? It's very... Yeah. It's, it's weird to look at. I'm just like, okay. This is... Mm. Um... <laughs> yeah, he, is, he doesn't need that much power. Doesn't... Doesn't take the... Doesn't take the, the, the death note. Doesn't actually take it. I know, I'm just saying in general. <laughs> um... <laughs> It was, <laughs> but the the story the story itself is very interesting. Um, because, I mean, it's it's kind of bullshit at the same time because like the the story ended up like the the kid who ha like had the Death Note was um he had like he had a really interesting plan. It was about money, of course. He was just like I'm gonna sell it and just get a ton of money. But then um at the last second, the Shinigami King is just like. Actually, I'm gonna make a new rule. Uh, if you sell, if you like, if you sell or buy the Death Note, you die. Um, <laughs> like right then and there. And so, what? What? Like right then and there. Yeah. Like if if you did it, like if, if you did that, you die. Um. So he just made the rule at the last second, and so like the the kid who had the plan, he dies. Okay. It's like it's a twist, but it's like that's kind of dumb because you just <laughs> bullshitted a rule at the last second. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, I'm death for you. Thinking you can best my rules, I make the rules, and I also make up the rules. That, that's something worth uh, in world, looking into in a meta sense. How does he make the rules, and how are they supernaturally enforced? If it could just happen because he decrees it, like... Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. There's a part of me, though, that does love... That kind of loves the fact that, uh... The main story with Light and everything... They don't... The important part isn't going into detail about the background of the Death Note, where it came from, how the, the first one that was ever made, or whatever. It's just, okay, what does it do, or what that power does to a person? <laughs> um, especially if you're as smart as someone like Lyot or whatever. Yeah. And that's what makes it so compelling. Um, but, yeah, it would be cool to get some lore things, too. Not just, not even just continuations or like, even like prequels or whatever. Like through the, through the manga graphic. Like, it's like it's like all about control, really. Yeah. Like graphic novel stories and shit. Yeah. Little shorts and whatever. Cause I have one of those. I have one that I got for a <laughs> Christmas, I think, last year. And yeah. it's, I didn't. I'm not done with it yet. Um. Is that the the Sekira story? I think so, yeah. Yeah, I read that one too. That's actually the one that that takes the idea that I had for Tsuki. Oh. Uh. <laughs> sort of. It's it's not exactly the same, but um, it's because it's it's about um, uh, like a person who has the Death Note, but they're using it like on the elderly and people who were like on their deathbed and like wishing yeah. for death. And that's kind of the idea that I had you can hover for Suki, and I was like, well, yeah, that's, like, the only reason you could feel like it's possibly in, like, I don't, that you're using it in, like, a good way, even though it's weird to say, but, like... Well, so, because that's the thing, well, Light, original. now, I forget, does that Kita uh, have anything, like, incredibly awful happen? Does his mind kind of think, like, oh, what else could I do with this, or, like... I forget what happens. No, that one's well. Yeah, uh, the sea kid is honestly that one's kind of stupid too. Like bo both of these, <laughs> bo both of these stories like are kind of interesting but kind of stupid. Um, because the 
because the way it ends up going down is that um uh we, we don't even know like we don't even know Sikuda's like actual name. Yeah. Um it's just like some guy in the shadows and he ends up writing his name in the death note and killing himself because Nier, the new L, said that he said that he wasn't good enough. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> he wasn't good enough as Kido, so he killed himself. That's basically how so it ends up happening. So, Nier basically was a KYS loser, and then he did. Exactly. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> it's, and I was like, really? <laughs> so do you have that same uh, thought like uh, Light did with Elrys? Like, it's not nearly as fun with, with Light around. Even though I only fucking outed him in like three seconds yeah it's, it's just like i like i just have one message for you it's like you abominable murder it's like like you're not even worth my time and then he just ends up killing himself was he trying, was he trying to get senpai to notice him or something through all this as well i don't Do have an i really motive? don't know we don't we have no motive for like for secret or like what he's doing it we don't know anything about him it was so weird. There's like, <laughs> there's like no explanation for anything. I Man, it was it was kind of funny how you were like, yeah, it's weird to see someone use the death note for like good even though that that was literally light's initial intention he, right, he just was, wanted to rid the world of the... criminals and like really bad people which makes sense yeah. and, and that's where it grabs you in as like just someone who maybe has ever like legitimately had a thought of like well why do those people why can't they learn like do they even deserve to live for the shit they've done or whatever but then but then you go from one particular standpoint, you could be like, but yeah, but like, who, who is anyone to to judge that, you know? And yeah. that's and that's it, where it like gets he like he had good intentions, but then the power got to him. Yeah. Well, then he, not that he's you know lights religious or even that's why I don't really care much for the uh, uh for the first intro because it, it just has heavy religious imagery. The show itself once in a while dips into like a frame or yeah. so with like because the whole thing is like I will be the god of this new world. Yes. Um, but then really religious people, like, I, like, I'm sure my grandma would probably say, like, yeah, well, only, you know, Jesus or God is the judge of who, of how our lives play out or whatever, right? Which, that makes yeah. sense from that perspective, too. That just depends if you're, you know, heavily religious or not, or whatever the case is. But it's all, like, kind of subjective, it, until the point where it's like, yeah, but killing is wrong. Killing yeah. is wrong. Even, it's wrong. <laughs> even if you fucking, like found this bully guy and he was just a dude and you fucking kicked the shit out of him because he was harassing somebody but you like literally beat him to death it's like it's killer. literally one you of those memes somebody. that it's it's one of those memes where like light is there and it says it says murder is okay <laughs> it's just an, it's an interesting topic for sure because it, it gets you talking about a lot of different things like morality and all that but yeah and that's exactly what like drove him over the edge is that he because they were saying okay well this doesn't this this didn't just happen out of nowhere he he probably to borrow from a breaking bad uh, analysis video like he opened the mental door to be able to allow these things allow himself to do these things allow these things to happen so that's why he's numb to it that's why like pretty early on he's like okay well you're dead then you oppose me i'll just kill you and he's not, he didn't, he, never, he doesn't, originally he kind of like, you know, initially he would kind of second guess himself or kind of think through it more before doing it. That was mainly when he was trying the Death Note out. But then, once he started getting, you know, people that were opposing his belief system or whatever the case is, he's like, okay, well you're an enemy then. And because I've got this book that gives me this power, uh, yeah, you're dead. Yeah. Without like even a bat of an eye. Um, but it makes it interesting to watch in hindsight just because of the mere fact that he 
he is still the protagonist. You know, there's a, there's an interesting thing I remember hearing about or reading or whatever the case about just what being a protagonist or antagonist means. Technically, like Light's kind of both. He is, you know, the protagonist because he has an opposing force, but the opposing force legitimately is doing the right thing. He has never killed. He doesn't want to kill. He is L's a detective. L, you know, wants justice, like actual justice, because he sees this kid who's murdering people and he's trying to, you know, bring this killer to justice. And yeah. Um, oh, also, I, f I forgot to mention that this, um, like, uh, this this chapter, the the Akira story, um, also, like, also mentions Twitter. That's weird. I don't really yeah, like that. Yeah, and, yeah, exactly. I, it's it's a lot of things that, like, kind of break my immersion, and I'm like, all right. Maybe don't bring real-world elements into it, like real people yeah. or real things. It's like... It it's like, the point is, it's a fictional story! Like, why are you doing this? Also, the fact that Twitter is the cesspool that it is right now, you shouldn't probably give any more credence to that in your fictional work. Yeah. Whether it's metaphorical or whatever the fuck. It's really odd. So, blue, so this, this vehicle thing... Is still really weird, but it's a hell of a lot better than in Reunited. It does still control odd though. Oh, I'm just gonna say that right now. Um, let's see. Oh, and Nation vs. Have you tried the no. the DLC for KO? No, I didn't even i I didn't I even get that far in the in the like main game because I don't really like it. <laughs> I was approached for the code and I said yes but they never gave it to me. They, they, they were they wanted me to promote the uh I still want to promote it but it's gonna be like really late if I still if I do. Um they gave me the code to um fuck you Pluto. Uh they gave me the code to uh for the, the KO trilogy on Steam and then they said they were gonna get me one for uh my copy of KO of twenty twenty two or whenever it came out but uh they haven't done it yet. It's already out now, though, so... You know. It's whatever. I, I do want to platinum the new KO, though, still. I just haven't played it in a while. I haven't played it since the last time I played it. <laughs> Let's see. There's my little gym. Hello, sir. Fuck you. Sporks. I was sparksless. Okay, now I'm curious. How the hell did they mention Twitter and Death Note? Um, because the whole the whole thing about um this guy wanting to sell the Death Note was um he's like use a hashtag on Twitter. <laughs> about what? And let me know. Sell the Death Note? Yeah, or no, it's just like, it, like, place your bid and use this hashtag on Twitter. That's a, that's basically what it is. Hashtag selling the death note. Hashtag death note. That's weird. I don't... Yeah, it... I don't subscribe to that idea. I don't subscribe to that, I was gonna say. I've read the description of them. <clears throat> yeah, like I said, we haven't played it yet, though. I need to do that damn tunnel. Where is it? There it is. First, let me get Fog. Oh, you're not fodder. But I'll kill you anyway. There's fodder. You're not fodder. Luke, I am your fodder. Oh. Sorry. Oh. Come here, sir. Give me health, you fuck. Does he have a very- he does, he has a specific pattern. I didn't realize he was the skill point in this game, in this version as well. 
Oh, hold on, this is a good meme image. I'm gonna show you this. <laughs> Let me hear uh, these guys man laugh. Man laugh. <laughs> Damn it. Because I'm going to inevitably miss a dude like I just did. Oh, by the way, Zark, yeah, I scored everything off with you, Dave, and uh, J Bills. God damn it, same dude. For the jerseys, so you guys are good. You guys enjoy them whenever you get to them. No sucks about what you sent me right there, though. Is that the both of them aren't together on one single panel? Uh, I'll. You know, I, there's probably one where that I can. I can probably find one. Because that was the that that's that's the money maker right there. That's the one. That's the image <laughs> that is gonna be like the most hilarious thing ever. <laughs> I'm trying to send you the. I'm sure you must have seen the Spongebob Death Note parody as well. And if you haven't, my lore is the best thing ever, and I'll show it to you after the stream. Or you can look it up on your own. I kind of want to watch it myself again as well. It's really mm -hmm. funny. There we go. <laughs> look at that great meme image. Why didn't he do that to light? Just stare at him. <laughs> Jason! Jason! <laughs> Breathing heavily. Yeah. Here, here's a good image. What if I don't want to? What if I still have a fucking level I have to do that I don't want to? Oh, but I can't do it yet, because I need 20 eggs. <coughs> oh no, I have enough. Great, let's do Mushroom Speedway. Let's get ready for Spyro Circuit music. Spyro Circuit music? There's a hint. Get them. Find there them. There we go. Oh god. <laughs> Holy shit. It's amazing. Why? Who proved? How many people had to approve that? Yeah, the, I, the the writer I that came up with the idea, the writer who wrote this all to happen, then the artists who had to draw it numerous times. <laughs> they had to approve every panel. 
probably wasn't hard for them to approve it. And they're also like, well, we're not in America, so we don't give a fuck. Yeah, I mean, pretty much. It's funny. <laughs> it's, it's funny. It's funny for our fictional demon to meet people. Next, we should meet the the Chinese president who looks like Winnie the Pooh. What? Yeah, you you know about that one? I think I do. They said people are likening the Chinese president to Winnie the Pooh, and now Winnie the Pooh, not the brand, but the character specifically, is now banned in China. Is banned in China? That's that's what I heard. Yeah. To the point where when Kingdom Hearts three was coming out and there was a shot of him in the Hundred Acre Wood with all the characters, they had they blurred out Winnie the Pooh. That's. Wow. <laughs> They like lens flared his ass. He's like this white, like, blob. Because he has legs still. That's really funny. <laughs> this is such a <laughs> I didn't realize that he was giving him the death <laughs> That's fucking funny. Oh god. I want to erase these guys. I want to erase them from the game's code. <laughs> from the game's code. Take them out of the game. Yeah. Yeah. Die. Somniac team said, Hey guys, I have an idea. Let's make them race the creatures. And then Ted Press is probably like, That's that's great! And then they put it in. Oh, it was great! <laughs> Ted, Ted Press, <laughs> you ask him at E3 2000, like, what was your favorite part of. Did you enjoy uh, playtesting? The, uh, how was your experience playtesting the the new features of the speedways? Well, it was great. <laughs> it was great. How did I say that kid was now? Like twelve or like something, or ten, or eight? No, um. ten. Ten. <coughs> he was four. The apparently kid was four when he did that. Oh, okay. So and that was I, when? I can't remember. Like the late 2000s, the early 2010s. Yeah, so he's. Mm, it was early 2010. Yeah, he's probably about 13 or 14 now. Yeah. But give or take, I'm not doing the math right. I don't care. I thought you said he was like 14 or something. He's probably like 14. Ted Price personally coded everything in the speedways. He didn't touch the rest of the game, he just coded the speedways. <laughs> My favorite dragon, John. John the Dragon. John? He's my favorite. What up, Hunter? Whoa! A bunch of sheep and flying saucers just came out of nowhere! Oh wait, you can shoot their shots to negate them in this version? You can't do that in Reunited, can you? If the UFOs are trying to shoot at you in Mushroom Speedway, you can shoot their projectiles and, like, negate them? I didn't know that at all. I usually just avoid them. I did that by accident, and I found out that that was a thing. Okay, well, I was today years old. Good job. Me. 
Wow, look, I completed that in like 10 seconds versus Rionetta where I die Check like 20 out. times. <laughs> Tater. Tater Todd. <laughs> Ow! Fuck my hand. What? God. Ow, I was reaching for my water. That was karma biting me in the ass for making fun of Rionetta. Or rather, the hand. Ow. I got to the alley. I got the alley. Now I'm ready to go and fight Buzz. Whee. Let's fight the man. Let's fight the man. Let's stick it to the man. <laughs> Bianca strikes back. No, that's Crash 2. Try again. <laughs> Listen carefully, Bianca strikes you stupid ass. girl. Not what she would. I'm only going to ask you. <laughs> well, she did. At the end of the game, she did. <laughs> Why haven't you she disposed did. of that she infernal dragon? dragon? Do you think I, I she simultaneously pets and pulls Hunter's in. tail? Not afraid. Yes. Not For fun. Why have I been training yes. you all these years? And he goes. Use some magic. Uh, ow! I don't know what he say. Spell book. Whip up a monster. And he goes. Ow! Oh, you pulled my tail. <laughs> you hit you the target. I don't care what <laughs> you do. When you put <laughs> when you put that in your script for a uh, Hunter's analysis video, and you were like, his his interesting way of saying things. I'm like, you, oh, I've got, here. I've just, I, my hands were just rubbing. I was like, oh, I've got the perfect fucking moment for this. <laughs> hey, you broke all the targets. You nailed all the targets. <laughs> The adventure continue. Kill! When I Kill the guy! Sorcerer. Murder. Supposed to be because he's supposed to be a big toad. He's a fool. He's a horny toad. Oh, 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 oh <laughs> shit! He <laughs> <It> would be. <laughs> ah. Fire didn't show up that time. That was odd. The fire didn't show up. It didn't. It was a little bit <laughs> of fire. Did you not see that? Yeah. This is very weird. Uh. Yeah, it's not there again. What? Is it supposed to be situational or some shit? I don't. Yeah, it's like in a pattern. Ooh. What? I don't remember it being that way. Huh. Look at him Rolex. Wait, let me wait, let me take a good look. He does the fire. Okay, now he's doing it every single time. But earlier he wasn't. He would do fire and then I would hit bump into him, and then he would jump, and then there would be no fire. 
Oh, yeah. Sometimes that happens. I don't remember it being this way. I don't think it's supposed to be that way. Probably just a good glitch. Oh, no, because it was in a pattern, so, I mean... What if this copy ended up being the Black Label version? <laughs> hmm. That'd be funny. I actually don't know. Because it depended on the disc, not necessarily... I mean, we, we call it the Black Label version because of the fact that it... That's the type of case it came in, but, like... When you buy a used copy, there's no way, you know, eventually discs are going to get swapped out into, like, the Black Label will go into the greatest hits and vice versa, depending on how that works. But maybe someone will bring in, like, maybe they'll have lost the case, so they bring in, like, a greatest hits version of Spyro 3 in a little, like, paper slip case, and then they have to go and put it into a, a, a cover when you're buying it from, like, a retro game store or whatever, and they would probably put that greatest hits disc in like a black label case or some shit or vice versa you wouldn't know yeah so who knows because this is, this did come from my retro game shop uh who fucking knows i think okay, it did anyway who knows what, what version we're playing no actually i think this is the greatest hits version the slightest idea if i remember right i do think that um I suggest you grab your stand up a bit uh, i do think that and the uh, the first you still can. obvious way to tell for me I'm telling you. Is Evening Lakes music, and I think it's the actual music. Um, well, actually, the first way you'd be able to tell is when you did. When you did Mushroom Speedway, was the actual Mushroom Speedway music playing? Oh, I don't know. I can't hear it. Because I have a headphones on. Oh. Uh, what music plays in. What, what, what's the incorrect music that plays? Harbor Speedway. Harbor Speedway for all of them. Oh. Uh, somebody in the stream. <laughs> Zara, did, did you guys happen to hear Mushroom Speedway music, or did you hear Harbor Speedway? That must have been, like, the, one of the first songs they finished. Do you think they, like, put that through, like... So that must have been a placeholder then? Probably. Cause Sunrise Spring plays not just for Evening Lake, but also for the Sorceresses. Sorceresses fight, right? Yeah. Which Sunrise is... Spring plays in Sorceresses fight, which is really dumb. It's really weird. <laughs> Dave! I found you, Dave! You're a dragon. Dave Ace the Dragon. <laughs> Yeah, I couldn't hear it, so I'm not sure what music was playing. I do believe this is the Greatest Hits version, though. The The cover is the Greatest Hits cover. I'm not sure if... Uh, the copy is that, though, because I couldn't hear the music. Mingus. That is a weird Mingus. name. Mingus. Pingus. Let's do some target practice with Hunter. Played High Fire Rush. Good for you. I, I'm still really miffed about what happened with how I got it. I bought the game. I, I technically own it. I say technically because I don't have a Series X. And I had no idea that, uh... It wasn't on Xbox One, but you can still technically play Hi-Fi Rush on Xbox One. But you could only do it through the shitty cloud service, and it's shitty and garbage and trash and shitty. So, like, the quality of the game was coming through really bad. But the game itself, for what, how much I could play with delayed controls and whatever the fuck, because again, it's on cloud, which is shitty and dumb and shitty. Um... The game itself was still really good. I do want to play the, the full game on an actual fucking Series X, which means I have now asked myself into buying a Series X eventually because I'm not going to let that fucking 50 or how much, how many dollars go to waste. The, 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 
the thing I'm trying to weigh right now with the Series X is like or S. See, I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out what do I need or well I, I know what I need, but it's it's balancing what I need versus what I want. I I love collecting physical games. A lot of you know of us old timers do. I I really love having my physical games. And I've been buying up a lot of old games and stuff like that. Games I've never played or even games I have played. But I've never really gotten the physical copies of before. Oh, you fucking asshole. Um, so, if I want to buy Series X games, I will need to buy the Series X. Because it's got... You fucking dickhead, I can't catch this asshole. Um, the Series X has the disc tray. Or just slot or whatever. What the fuck? How am I supposed to go on the inside of this motherfucker? Ah, I try to anticipate it. Come here, you piece of shit. What? Stop! Oh my god, he's actually pissing me off. You know what? I'm just gonna fucking come back with uh, Super Fun. Um. Series X has the disc slot, right? But it's $500. It's the same as the PS5. But the Series S, which is the slimmer, discless, digital Xbox console, is like way cheaper. It's like 200, 250 bucks. But I, there would be no point for me to buy physical Series X games. Now, I don't even know if they ever plan to make, or if there's like on limited run or whatever, a physical copy of Hi-Fi Rush. I don't know if the developers ever plan to have, to release a physical copy of the game. At that point, I would just be buying it for the novelty of having a physical copy of the game. But I wouldn't be able to do anything with it if I buy a Series S. I wouldn't eventually be able to be like, hey, I want to play the physical copy for some reason. Because even to this day, I have not popped in, I think on, you know what, maybe I did it with Tencent by accident. Or not, not even by accident, I don't even know. I haven't, because, see, I found out with one of my games, I don't know which one it was, like kind of the hard way, that on PS4 anyway, if you buy a game digitally, you have it there and you can access it whenever. But then, of course, when you... If you were to, buy, to double dip and buy the game again physically and have it on disc, and then you pop the disc in, and then you actually start the game up like that, you end up overriding your digital version that the console, you know, is reading. And the console will only ever read that game now via your disc, because you've now popped the disc in, so now it reads it as, as physical copy only. You can't just play it without the disc anymore. Yeah. Um, I don't know if the same thing goes for Xbox or whatever, but regardless, like, I, I still, I want to have that purpose, so if I ever were to be like, hey, whether or not I buy an Xbox Series X game digitally, there's still that part of me that might want to buy it, depending on, because that's another thing too, it's like, okay, how many Xbox Series X games are there that I'm even going to want to play right now? Besides Hi-Fi Rush. I don't want to buy the console for just one game. That was the same thing for the Xbox One. I didn't want to buy the Xbox One solely for Cuphead. But then I found out, oh, Rare Replay's happening, so I can finally play Banjo and all that stuff. Uh, plus I found games like ReCore and all that, which I don't... I can't remember. No, it is. Yeah, ReCore is an exclusive, so like... I found some exclusives that I've actually wanted to try out or whatever. Where the fuck is he? Excuse me? Where's the thief? Is it where? There he is. What the fuck? Okay, hold on. So, I don't know. I I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. Because the cheaper route would be to just go with the Series S and have it discless. Because I bought the game digitally. Does he just vanish during this? Oh my god, he does. Fuck, Insomniac, really? 
what happened? They they phase out the thief when you have super flim, so you can't just snipe him from afar. Oh. That is some garbage. That's then, some. Yeah, because there he is. Yeah, he just out of nowhere. Oh my god, really? It's some smart thinking. You. Jesus. God. Fucking dick. Okay, let's save Sergeant Bird. Ah, my good. Yeah, so I want to get the series. I would like. Ideally, I want the series S because it's cheaper. And because I will probably, since I do with PS4 and 5 to this day, I'll probably be. I'll probably be buying Xbox games digitally. But even, like I was saying, yeah, I've got some physical, you know, Xbox One discs. So, if ever the case does come out, and right now, not really, but say Hi-Fi Rush did get a physical release through Limited Run or wherever. Or I find other games on Series X that I'm going to want the physical copies of. There's really no point to get them if they're Series X exclusive. Well, the if I can't play them because I got a Series S. We just wanted a little peace and quiet. Well, if it's peace and quiet but I just don't want to miss out on stuff like that world because, world I reckon I'll be you know, I just, especially if they're games I like, I want to support. That means I'm double dipping on those games. The double dipping and triple dipping even, because now Nationverse says that he's got a KO on fucking, <laughs> and the DLC on on PlayStation, Xbox, and Switch, so it's like, that's all, it's always a weird, it's a weird practice, like, I'll admit. Like, you could be spending your money on other things, but also, like, especially you could, because... you could be spending your money on better games, I don't know. <laughs> but that can go with anything, like, I've triple dipped on Spyro, or double dipped, I've double dipped on, uh, Crash. So. And even other games, like, I've double dipped on, like, Shantae and stuff, like, I've got the PS5 version of Shantae. I recently, in the mail... Uh, a couple months ago, or like earlier in the year, I think, I got, I had forgotten I pre-ordered it, pre -ordered it off of Limited Run, but I got the uh, little collector's edition for the PS5 copy of Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. Yeah. So it came with some goodies and the game, obviously, of, you know, itself and everything. Um, it didn't come with the game. That would have been weird. And I actually went ahead and I uh, double dipped on Ruby Arrowfell as well. I got the PS5 copy of that. Um, which is going to come whenever it's ready. <laughs> They're still making them. They have Team Up Breer. Breer. <laughs> We're all about that Ivy Thicket. <laughs> We're all about that thick, though. Ooh, they knew what they were doing with Team Breer. And in terms of my taste, they knew what they were doing with Ivy. <laughs> they knew what they were doing when they made females. <laughs> God knew what he was doing when he created females. He said, let them make babies. <laughs> Sir, I've captured the enemy Russians. They won't march far on an <laughs> Make men confused. Confuse them. Do it. <laughs> I defeat it. The Rhino fell. Do your French impression. Uh okay. Of of the silly little birds. Damn it. Uh. Oh. I'm ready to be the beliefs. Oh. <laughs> you went for the horniest line. <laughs> Good for you. The class we missing to chill, so hip hip away! <laughs> On Sergeant James Bjord. Dude. Bjord. There you go. Oh, yeah. So 
Sergeant James. Can I just call him Sergeant James? That'd be really funny. Yo, stop flying away from me. <laughs> I forgot how weird... You know what's funny, actually? Hmm. Whoa. I always thought... <laughs> his silly little waddle. I thought if it was weird to control, it actually feels nice. It feels okay. It's not that bad, really. Because I remember... When... I played Spyro 3 Reunited for the first time on stream, and I was playing him, I'm like... I was like, whoa, he feels so much better, but like... Well, I mean, he does feel a little bit better, but, like, he never felt horrible. Yeah, it is true. Like, he was always my favorite to play as. Yeah, he was probably second favorite. I think just... Out of... Circumstance, because... Agent 9 and Bentley are a little strange. This has become strange. <laughs> Stop hitting me. With your plunger things that I thought you had actual darts. I can't believe you thought that. Well, hey, with all the other shit that they never told us that they censored that we didn't think they would, I was like, okay, so what? Did these guys, didn't these guys have darts before? Can't have those, make them plungers. They gotta be silly and wacky and cartoony. It's like, no, they were always like that. It's like, I would've remembered, because I always... I always, like, do a... I always do first-person aiming when I, like, aim at those guys. So I would've remembered a dart coming right at my face. <laughs> you go, oh, oh. Sensor is funny. Mission accomplished. It's Spyro great sensor to have is back, funny. Sir. Yeah. No, that's what I'm saying, Nationverse. Cloud gaming sucks. Everyone says, just, just update, just, just, just save it to the cloud. And it's like, how is Easy that? Why run the world? <laughs> how is that beneficial for anyone? Because the service sucks. It has nothing to really even do with the fact of, like, my internet connection, because it was absolutely fine. It's the fact that the service itself was shit. If fucking Splatoon 1 can run well... I don't even know if the Splatoon 1 servers are still fucking... Because it's Wii U, I doubt it, but if the Splatoon 1 servers still work... This very second, I guarantee you, I can fire my Wii U up right now, put that shit in, and it would still, and, and because, and I don't, I don't even have anything connected to the fucking, I don't have any Ethernet cable connected, connected to the Wii U, but it, off Wi-Fi, it would play just fine. But for some reason, this cloud gaming fucking shit on Series X, Xbox One, Xbox X, S, X, Sex, whatever... It's shit. It's utter blocks. So I don't know. You fucking. So yeah, I have to buy. Either the X or the S now. But a part of me wants to wait until I find another game. At least one more game. On the damn console. So I don't pay $250 for one game. That I already own. That I can't play. Especially too because... Um, you also have to have... Um, what's it? The like Xbox Gold or whatever the fuck it's called? Or I forget what it is. Xbox Gold? Yeah. It's, it's the same thing for PS Plus. To access cloud, which is stupid. And it's like, wh okay, so when that expires, which I let it expire because I wasn't going to keep paying for it when it's that shitty of quality, I was going to give myself a couple months to try and get the money together for a Series X or S or whatever. 
but I just I couldn't and I didn't. So I can't even play the game right now on my on the through the shitty cloud system. Because it's my gold game pass, whatever the fuck, is expired. It's 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 real shit. I do not care for the way Microsoft handles its shit. That's like I never was on board for Microsoft stuff. I was solely a PlayStation and Nintendo guy, so even by the time I heard about Microsoft stuff, and that was the thing too from like back in the day, that made me go, why do people love this shit so much? Why can people play shit? Like the console that became like the one I would hear fucking nothing else but it from friends and shit was the 360. I'm like, okay, but why? How come everyone is only using the 360 to play fucking Call of Duty and Battlefield and Halo? And that, that's still very much their market even today, but like, they have been a little more, I guess, inclusive in terms of that they have silly cartoon shit like Cuphead and It Takes Two and whatever else on it. Yeah. Yes. But, uh... If I want my hardcore games and my cartoony games, I'll stick with Sony. I'll stick with Sony, bitch. I can play Uncharted and Ratchet and Clank. <laughs> well, this isn't nearly as, uh... Oh, there we go. Whoa, I'm moving. Shit! The wrong fucking button again. Yeah, the aiming isn't very good here. <laughs> Say the funny line. I'm ready to be debriefed, sir. Say the it. line. Say the line. Say the line, Bart. Mm -mm. <laughs> Where's everybody going? Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah! That, that, that's the clip that Matt <laughs> used for it. He cuts it off before he says bar, so he goes, Save the line! Yeah. Where's everybody going? Bingo. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> well, even if the cloud thing's free, Game Pass isn't. That's, I think, what it was referring to. The cloud service is still shitty, though, because the picture comes through all fucking... It's the same thing as playing fucking... Because, what, you played Sly on PS Now or whatever? That shit was yeah. horrible. It was, it was very much the same kind of experience. Playing Hi-Fi Rush through, the, through Game Pass cloud service, whatever the fuck it was. It's stupid. It was not worth it. But it was... I, I didn't know... I, not that I didn't know any better, I just, I didn't know. It was still my fault in hindsight because I didn't fully look it up to see if it was on Xbox One. I just assumed, but like, why wouldn't it be at the same time? So like, wouldn't you want to have it on both consoles so you can reach more fucking people? Especially because this is a really, it was a really anticipated game and it looked really cool. Yeah. Just have to avoid fucking spoilers and shit. So whenever I can buy a fucking Series S or X, or whatever I go with. Before I was captured, I. Roy. No, this no, that's this is the thing. Hi-Fi Rush obviously isn't free to play. I I paid for it. I own the game. But I own. What I did was I bought. An Xbox Series X game on Xbox One. So why the fuck would they even have it on the fucking Xbox One store? That is my fucking issue with it. Why would you tell me, sure, you can purchase this video game on this specific console that's a generation behind where we're at right now, bless you. Yeah, me. And then go, oh, by the way, if you were stupid and you didn't look up the fact that this is technically for the console generation up, 
yeah, we let you buy it on the console that's th that's a generation down. You can still play it. You're just you're just gotta play it on our shitty service, as the quality is ass, and you've got it for a limited time, until you pay for gold again or whatever. And it's just why then even bother? That's like me getting PlayStation Move Heroes without knowing what a PlayStation Move was. <laughs> But then imagine, imagine, okay, no, no, no. Imagine it was Rift Apart, and it was like, yeah. hey, okay, so I'm going to skew this a little bit, but it's essentially the same principle. Say it was like, hey, you need a dual sense to play this game, and it's Rift Apart, but it's on, like, the PS4 store, right? Yeah. So you go, okay, well, we'll let you play with, you know, the DualShock 4, but it's not going to feel the same or it's not going to work the same just like for whatever reason, right? Because you have yeah. to be a console generation up. Oh, but you paid for the game, so you own it. Oh, but by the way, too, because it's not the same console, it's supposed to be on PS5. Um, you bought this through PS Plus, which means it's locked behind PS Plus. So say you don't have a credit card and you're just uh, playing for like maybe three months or five months, then you have only those months to play the game. So you better buy a PS5 within that time so you can actually own and play the full game itself. Otherwise you're fucked and the game doesn't work the way it's supposed to or whatever. It's just, it's so stupid. It's not the best example, but it's, it's so fucking stupid. Yeah. It's like, why then even bother putting it on the fucking Xbox One store? If the only way I can play on Xbox One is through your shitty fucking Game Pass gold, whatever the fuck it is. And it's in shitty quality. So what you're telling me is, hey, dickhead, you just bought yourself a Series X game and, in, and by extension, bought yourself a Series X. Whenever you buy that Series X, it's up to you, but you bought the game for it. Because the alternative to that is really shitty. Thanks, Microsoft. Thanks, Microsoft. <laughs> oh my god, I just can't get this hairstyle right. That gator was mean. We're going to speak I to thought I was a gunner. Right, Homer. What is Barton Lisa? <laughs> Oh my god, why can't I get this hair right? <laughs> he said, is he trying to move on? <laughs> hey. Give me that. Give me that. I'll have to do that today. Me to smash with my horns. Things for me to bash with my head. Hey, Aaron. Yeah. Horn dive. Ugh. <laughs> Phantom Zero King. Okay, what's your YouTube name? Because I, for some reason, am forgetting. You're gonna be like, it's me, your old fucking friend, idiot. And I'm just, I'm sorry that I'm so, <laughs> that I'm so not used to your Twitter, your Twitch handle. That's the most embarrassing part about streaming on Twitch is when friends, online friends I've known for at least more than three years or even five years come on and they're like, what's up? And I'm like, who the fuck are you? I don't recognize you. Who the fuck are you? I don't recognize <laughs> your name. 
Now I'll call you. Hello. Okay. See, then it becomes really embarrassing. Oh no. Oh! Stop! Oh! Oh god. I wonder. Can I still do the trick here? Probably. No. But I need sparks. I would like to have a full sparks. Alt accounts for streaming before Rumble, so they're all one name and use those more often. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Oh wait, so you're gonna? Are you, does that mean you're gonna rename yourself like on YouTube and all that? Because I'm so used to calling you Melancholy. Which isn't the best uh, <coughs> adjective, but I mean, it's not supposed to be an adjective, it's the name. Oh my god, you can. I just did it. Whoa. Hey, uh, on this, on the next episode of I Was Today Years Old When I Found Out, uh, the trick that I, not that I, I found this trick, but I was it experimenting. Was it works in the original too. Who would have thunk? What trick is that? Skipping money bags. Oh, in Spooky Swamp, yeah. Yeah, I didn't know you could do that in the original. I, well, yeah, you can. It's just easier to do it in Reunited. It's easier in Reunited, but it's because the piranha take a long ass time to fucking get to you. Although, they yeah. took a long ass time this particular time right now. Whereas, usually, they're really quick on the draw trying to. Kill the shit out of you. Kill the shit. Even after the name change? Are you sure? Well, because then I'm going to feel like a, like obligated to use your new name. So it's almost going to be... I wouldn't say meaningless for everyone else, but like for me it would be. <laughs> I'd be like, hold on now. Oh, shit. God, I'm fucking up these jumps. This is how you can tell. PS1 Spyro. I know, I know it. I know them. I know this. It doesn't look like I do because I'm real shit at the controls at the moment, and I don't know why. Okay. Yeah, about one hit. That's usually. You gotta think that that must have been intentional for them to leave that in. They could have put something there to prevent you from going through that little pathway. They probably thought, oh, you'll die before you can get to the other side, or like, whatever. Yeah, they're gonna put like, a plant or something, like seaweed, not seaweed, but like, fern, whatever, big water plant things coming out of the ground, or out of the water, or whatever right there, to block yeah. you off. They could put hit detection on it. A collision. No, they, they did no such thing. <laughs> It's almost like they weren't thinking about that. <laughs> God, what? What the, the fuck? Fucking up these jumps. Hmm. Oh. So I think literally the piranha have to chase you. I, I don't... I always thought that they would just kind of like pop in like wherever you were and then just yeah. start gnawing on you, but I guess not. Gnawing on you? Yeah. <laughs> they go um num num. I got Frank the Dragon, my favorite dragon. How many times can I get away with doing the secrets? Oh. Or skip, or whatever you call it. Hold on. Oh, I just realized bomb. Shut the fuck, and the things respawn. 
No! But yeah, the rocks respawn. Oh, wonderful. I hate it. I'm just gonna do that before I do a uh, wizard boy. Sleepy time wizard boy. What's what's his name? Sleepyhead. This Sleepy one smells so. Uh, let me get the gems first, then I'll do the missions. I'm not looking forward to this. Boy, it's fucking Sheila. Why are we British when she's Australian? Boy, it's fucking Sheila. See, now, the problem with this is that playing reunited more means that I don't have to memorize where the rocks are and I'm going to have to and that's, that has just made this that much harder for me right now because I don't have it memorized that's what I was rocks. saying the last time I was playing reunited I was like well this is gonna suck level because I want to keep it around the two hour, two and a half hour mark. So we've got about what? 18? Not 18. Uh, 12 minutes. Not 12. I can't math right. Somebody help me. We have until 2.30. Two hours and 30 minutes. <laughs> Seventeen, fuck. Now it's sixteen. Who's counting? Me. I'm trying to. But who's counting? Me. I'm failing at it. I'll say it. I was I wasn't good at math in school. Neither was I. I uh, failed my math portion of the fucking the SATs? SATs or whatever. I, uh, I, cats. <laughs> I had to retake, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, algebra? Algebra? Yeah. Oh, how fast is it coming back up? Oh. I forgot about the fixed camera, actually. I legitimately forgot about that. I cannot turn the camera either, which is really bad. Oh, God. You fucking fool! Oh, my God. You fool! You fool! Oh, of course that's... Of course it's that one. I almost had it first try. Ow! Oh, yeah, shut up. God, I hate you. I hate this. I hate everyone. Oh, I went boom again. I went to boom again. Why are we fucking here? <laughs> Is French or I forget? I don't know. I, went I think they're boom French. Again. I say no ho ho. They're like Louisiana French. Or Canadian French. <laughs> they say wee oui, wee, oui, eh? <laughs> That's a joke. God, I keep fucking reflexively, like, hitting L2 and R2 to change the fucking camera, and I can't. First bomb down. You're only doing one day on Twitch and one day on YouTube for streaming now? Um, 
That's sort of the case, yeah. Because I used to do two YouTube streams and one Twitch stream all in one week, every week. That's been getting a lot. So, like, that's been, like... Where, is, where do you go? Fuck. You're way faster. Um, so it's been like a little too much. And then to the... Where are you going? Oh my god. I really dislike you. Not the rock! Dwayne Johnson, why? How could you do this to me? I've only watched How? Rampage like no time. I went to zero times. Again. Big rocks um, big they say. Mushrooms must so, be Yeah, I'm um, essentially what's happening right now. I mean, so what we're doing right now is we're putting every other plan kind of on hold because we've got Road to Rumble on Saturdays. I wanted to make it every Saturday so that way whoever was my guest, whether it was Aaron or like Dave or anybody else, could be pretty much available to hop in on commentary with me um so saturdays are still a really big stream day for me and they're pretty much exclusively all on youtube on saturdays um i usually use the weekday to um stream on twitch so what we're doing right now is playing this because i'm a fucking psychopath so that's what we're doing right now whoa you're gonna fucking hit this one and come back around Oh, the rock. No, 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 no. Oi. Where are you? Wait, hold on. What? He hasn't come back? Wait, I am so confused. What? Did he go around and circle back? He didn't, like, completely, like, redo his... Okay. Fuck this shit, man. <laughs> Goes on this one. Hits that. Hits this. And I assume goes all the way around. So I was waiting for his ass. And I didn't does he it. go all the way around or he does. does he like. Okay. No, he went all the way around. Because for some reason I thought he did the weird thing where he went like halfway around and then came back. That, he does that and, and reunited. Okay. What? Press! Oh my god, Sheila, you fucking bitch. Ow. Shut up, you fucking piece of shit. You can actually, you like... Fucking... I wish you were extinct. I actually wish death upon you. If I had a death note... <laughs> You're the first one on my list. Uh, the only one, in fact. Why are people calling original Tana Tana Prime? Is she a fucking Transformer? <laughs> I, well, I call it- well, because it's the Prime Universe, the main universe. Oh. Real- people use the word Prime Universe? That is- People use that term? That's the word for it. Really? I've never heard that. Yeah. I forget what, where I've heard that, but that is the official term. If you're talking about a main universe, when you're talking about multiverses or whatever. Multiverses. Um, <laughs> Yeah. It's the prime universe. Like, you never heard me say the prime entropy versus, like, female entropy? No. I, I, I've said that before. The egg. Fucking hell, I'm never speaking to you again, fucking Firefly. Piece of shit. The fucking respawning rocks and your fucking alternate path that Reignited didn't fucking do for some reason. What? That I would is... just say. I would just say entropy and femtropy. Like, I don't. <laughs> I mean, I personally don't care for that term, but I know it's longer to say female entropy. I don't really, that's just how I work. But, uh, instead of just saying entropy, for me, I say prime. I tend to say prime. That just sounds like Transformer. 
I'm a fart, but not on stream, so hold on. Why don't you care for femtropy? How funny would it be if that still made it into the stream somehow? Um, I don't know, it just sounds really weird. It sounds like a... Like... Like a woke term, almost. Oh, fem be. I, I, I just think it sounds like a funny pun. Well, it is a pun. I don't know. It's, I don't know. I, I just prefer not to use that term. Super. Well, in the same way that I don't prefer to use CT Rumble, I always say CTRB. I just say Rumble. <laughs> but when trying to abbreviate it, I, I put CTRB, all in all caps. Because you're still writing out a full-ass word. I know you're trying to individualize it off of CTR, which is Crash Team Racing. But that's why I put the B. So the B just comes from Rumble. It's just a way to... Uh, it's just a way to fucking... Differentiate it. Or some people will do CTR with a little U after the R, and it's still kind of weird to me, too. CT Roo? Yeah, it looks really odd. That's kind of what people do um, for, like, SFA. I mean, I just call it SFA, but, like, yeah. because there's Adventures in Assault, um, sometimes, like, Oh, A.S. Yeah, no, like, you, hey, S. No, because they put adventures, they put, like, S.F. Adv. Adv? Oh. Adv, yeah. S.F. A.D.V. Yeah. Yeah, see, that sounds like a lot. I'd probably just say, I'd, I would do the U thing with Rumble, and instead of saying, yeah, I would just say Assault. I wouldn't, like, abbreviate it. I'd say SFA for Star Fox Adventures, but if I were yeah, to ever I would say Star SFA Fox... and Assault. Yeah, yeah, that's what I would do. And I usually that's the same thing for Rumble. I, I well, say I... I say CTR and Rumble. Yeah, I usually I, I'll say Rumble, but when I'm writing it out, I'll put CTRB. If I needed to abbreviate Rumble, I'll put it CTRB. I don't usually I don't use CT Rumble or CTRU. Crumble. Well, see, you can't really call it CTB because it's th that's not how abbreviations work. Without the R there, yeah, you have to you have to put that R there because that's <laughs> the letter the word starts with. Let's listen to her say nonsense and then get bored for it. We should help her. You're kidding, right? She nearly toasted you. My butt yeah. so but she was aiming at you. Hey, you know what? This would be a good stopping point, having the uh, cuts in here, and then we're almost at two hours and 30 minutes. I wanted to go on for three hours originally, but... I don't know. I'm too. OG and alt for Tana, and in going for the trophies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. DC uses Prime as what is described the Prime universe or the main universe. Well, I mean, I heard that outside of DC. No that's problem. Prime. It's a good thing that is the meaning of the word. That's one of the meanings of the word Prime. Because it's, it's sure, almost like shorthand for like primary. Would you like me to so. show you? Primary. Okay. Well, that sounds. Which very can stand nice. for like the main or magic, whatever. Huh? I would just say main. I, I, I don't think I've ever heard the term Prime Universe. Well, we're, we're, well when referring to a character of the first established universe, I mean, <laughs> main Tana. It's the main Tana. I would just say OG Tana. The OG Tana. And the other one I call Alt Tana. I usually refer to her as Crash 4 Tano. I'll say OG, yeah, OG Tano. I don't know if I've ever said Alt Tano. I might have. I might have said it, like, I might have typed that out. But I can't recall, uh. Saying it. Oh, 
Oh shit, we didn't do a. Uh, this level. Alright, she peeked. Yeah, we'll do that next time. Let's see, what's happening Wednesday? Any crazy things happening on Wednesday? Oh, that would be the thing! You know. What's happening on Wednesday? It's everything. Well, I know what's happening on Wednesday. Huh? I don't know what's happening on Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, we've got your thing happening on Wednesday. We have all the stuff happening on Wednesday. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. So we... Are going to... Yeah, we are probably going to... Um... How do people not expect the blocky skins to be blocky? I guess what they were more so, um, do you think they're wondering, like, why is it, why is it weird like that? How come it's like, maybe they're How come it's Minecraft? Yeah, <laughs> Minecraft. Do you remember when Mighty Number no. 9 had a retro skin and it was literally Minecraft? Uh, No. They were like, get the, the deluxe digital whatever or pre-order and get the skin. And then it's just back in Minecraft. <laughs> well, the part that I like about the fact that... Because yeah, I was like, whoa, these skins are cool, but they're like weird. Um, I, I think it's cool in hindsight how they fashioned them off of the prototype models. So they they're st they still got to use out of, out of those placeholder models. Or just early, or whatever you want to call them. That's just really funny. Yeah, yeah people argue about everything. Freaking Tarnas alt skin. Or uh, the, the, the retro threads skin. I think it's cool. Okay, well that's gonna do it, I think, for the stream. So thank you guys so much for watching. If I just back this video or a VOD on YouTube, thanks for watching. If you're with us live, thanks for you guys who stopped by to see what's up. Uh, yeah, hopefully we uh, have some more dudes pop in for the next stream, but it's not gonna be on Wednesday because erin has got her appointment and then we've got uh, the PlayStation thing kicking off. So we're going to have to find a day to do the next stream. But this Saturday is gonna be Crash 3, we will beat the main game, but we're not going to 100% it, or 105% it for that matter. Pretty much, uh, the 100% stuff is going to end, For Road to Rumble is going to end it at Crash 2. Like, those two games, the first two games, are the easiest ones to 100% in one stream, but uh, three onwards, no. We're not doing, we're not going for 100%. So, still going to be a fun time. I'll still collect gems and stuff, just not all of them, and I'm not doing any time trials. Well... I'll probably do enough just to unlock the 6th warp room, maybe, but there's no real point when the first level is one of the jet ski levels. We'll see what we do. That's pretty much it for that. What, what, what do you got going on? Um, nothing much, just, uh, mm, just the video that I want to get up by the end of the month. Which we do need to work on again. Uh, real soon, because we're almost done with it, so it, it needs... Almost done! Just need... need to... just need to get those recordings. Still? Dang. Yeah, we'll get those recordings in. Gotta do that... Uh, do that, adjust some other stuff to accommodate for those recordings, and then put in some extra things here and there, but the majority of that video is pretty much done. Pretty much. Which is good. But it's nowhere near finished yet, so. Still got a little bit of work to do. Once that goes out, you can also expect a share play that we recorded a while back. That I'm about half ish way done with. Uh, actually, no. I'm about two thirds of the way done with uh, the editing for that, so. That one's almost done, so that will come out. Well, no, well, you obviously are going to determine when it comes out, but it's probably going to be after the uh, video, right? Yeah. And then, um. 
I got some other stuff in the works, which I'll probably tease at a later date. But stuff's definitely coming, so... That's pretty much it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and until this Saturday... I'm Mark. I'm here. And we will see you guys later. Take care. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.